museums, libraries, monuments, churches and historical buildings. Is not the road of the sightseeing tour, but the targets of the Russian army in Ukraine. UNESCO has updated the list of cultural sites damaged or destroyed due to Russian hostilities. Now it has 236 objects in 13 regions of the country. UNESCO World Heritage Site can prevent Russian shelling and facilitate the restoration of Ukrainian valuables. The organization recognized eight objects in Ukraine as the property of all mankind. Temples, residences, ancient forests. The last UNESCO World Heritage Site was given to the historical center of Odessa. The organization acknowledged that it was under threat. What does it give from a practical point of view? Access to the World Heritage Fund is money. Every year these are millions of dollars that are allocated to the fund to protect certain objects. Definitely when today Ukraine is suffering from the war and we have a lot of objects that will require reconstruction, assistance and restoration and which are on the list, definitely Ukraine will use this mechanism. One of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Ukraine is Tori Kherson-S and its core, which is located in a temporary occupied by Russia Crimea. Under the guise of modernization and beautification of the ancient city, the Russians are destroying the landmark. Grand stands for spectators were installed in the protected area. Centuries-old roads were covered with modern paving slabs and archaeological excavations, which are more like digging wells or sewer trenches, are carried out not with a spatula and brush, but with an excavator. The situation is no better in the Hans Palace in Bakhchisarai. This is already an object of the national heritage of Ukraine, replacing the old tiles with Spanish tiles, demolition of the authentic roof slab, modern putty and paint on the facade. The Russian occupiers call such barbarism reconstruction. UNESCO has been monitoring the situation on the peninsula since the first days of Russian annexation. A corresponding mission is being formed. It comes to Ukraine. There is a meeting of a very wide range of officials, experts, that is, all those who have information in the field. But again, the state is limited. The international community is limited. We do not have direct access to Crimea, because every criminal wants to hide their crimes. But we have a very strong expert environment and civil society. They extract information through people who are still in Crimea. These are very brave people who give us data, photos and evidence. In addition to protecting natural and man-made values, UNESCO complies with World Intangible Heritage List. Since 2022, it has also included the culture of cooking borscht. The Ukrainian Ministry of Culture hopes that cabbage rolls and pisanki, painted Ukrainian Easter eggs, will soon join the borscht. UNESCO contributes not only to the protection of cultural property, but also to the development of science and education. The organization donates tablets and laptops to Ukrainian schools and allocates money to support education. But the main advantage of membership in UNESCO is the world's attention to the country's problems, experts say. For us, first of all, UNESCO is important in order to attract the attention of other countries, other peoples of the world. The world tourism community, the world community in general, because now there is no time for tourism, of the world politicians for the unique cultural significance of Ukraine, for identity, and so on. And from this point of view, it is important for us to use any tools. The Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic became a permanent member of the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization on May 12, 1954. And since 1962, there has been a permanent representation of the state in Paris. Today, Ukrainian diplomats are working to ensure that a UNESCO office appears in Ukraine as well. Reported by Pavel Stenmach, Valeria Nikipelova, Diana Kolesnik, UATV News.